how to turn a 3D block out into a detailed mesh. This is going to be a subject of this video. I will talk about the step that we need to create in between this. And the creation of the model itself is fairly easy. We do as a screenshot, then put it into ChatGPT for tests, type in a cyberpunk tank, sci-fi tank. We get this result. This result is pretty good. However, it's not something I enjoyed or like that much. I tried also Gemini, the same prompt. Also result was actually much worse than ChatGPT. And then I used Flux and ConfUI to do a much better job using the same screenshot. In all those cases, uh, ChatGPT or Gemini or Flux, they we create a depth image. And based on that depth, the concept that is created, guided by the prompt. I use this way because then we have the blockers, we can change, we can make them bigger, smaller. However, making this image using Flux and using ConfUI is quite complicated. It, it is a fair amount of learning and it is a big learning curve compared to ChatGPT or Gemini just prompting on top of a screenshot. If you're interested in that, I have a free introduction on my Patreon, check it in the description. My name is Anton Tinitsky. I've been a 3D artist for over 15 years. Most recently, I worked on Marvel Rivals. Before that, long time ago, I worked on Pingus Madagascar. And now I'm learning and sharing a lot of stuff about AI tools on a more intermediate or advanced level. If you want to try a more advanced setup to create images, I have this Confi thing set up on the cloud on Run Confi. The link is in the description. I'll click on it, you get like 15 free minutes to generate a few images. Everything is already set up. You do need to bring your own screenshot though. And then that stuff is great to go. To create a 3D model, I'll go to Hugging Space. Hugging Space hosts a lot of models, open source models that are available to download. You can set them up on your local computer quite often. It also offers you some free generations. I'll be using in this video Hanyan 3D and Trellis. If you know some other great 3D mesh generations, please tell me. I'm quite interested. Leave it in the comments. The interface is very, very self-explanatory. I only need to go and upload the image here. Just drag and drop and it's there. It will automatically remove the background. It's using different AI model to do that. And the file type we have an export is GLB. GLB is great file formal because it includes the texture and the mesh itself. You can see the target face number, you can play with that. I presume it will be longer if we make more. I'm not sure the quality will go that much better, but I think I'll keep it around 30,000 triangles. And let's go click to generate shape. I will, of course, leave the link in the description to all the models and stuff I mentioned here. Only took like 20 seconds, very fast. And the quality is quite high. So I really like this quality. I have this little guy right here that is annoying. There's more of a glitch, to be honest, in my mind. I think in my final render, I actually painted that out in Photoshop and I didn't include it in the generation. Here you can see how it interpreted the antenna. So I like Hanyan quality quite a bit. However, the problem is that we don't get textures with this. And to get textures out, I use different model called Trellis, also on the Hagen face. I've uploaded the image and automatically removed the background and automatically converted it to be, to be a square image. And I can go check generation settings. I don't really want to touch generation settings. They did a good job as they are. And in JLB instruction settings, I'll go for texture size. I want to, I don't know, I want 2K texture to have it a bit higher quality. Let's click generate and extract and it will start to calculate it. We have multiple images option. If it's, if you have multiple images like side, left, top, down of one object, you can run that and create a better 3D model. However, I find that the quality I get from this is satisfactory. I still want to do a cleanup ideally. And there you go, in just 30 seconds, we got this pretty nice looking model with textures, it's all symmetrical, quite quite amazing what it can do. And it's just, you know, this year, imagine next year, then we only need to click download GLB. Then I input it into a blender, I just drag and drop the file. And there we go. I've inputted it into Blender. I had to rescale it. Came pretty tiny. The mesh, pretty nice, honestly. And the the proportions match quite well. You can see here. I mean, they matching really well because the concept art was generated based on the depth image of this original 3D sketch. And if you want to know more about how to create multiple concept art based on many blockouts, I have the whole tutorial series about it on my YouTube. Go check it out. It's a lot more complicated, but if you don't want to be just a prompt monkey, you do want to get a bit deeper into AI to build your own systems. And I will be posting more videos about how to automatically generate many models locally on your computer in the future. So subscribe if you don't want to miss out. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.